Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone. Uh, last time we played the arena with Duncan, it didn't go very well. This time we got Shin. How you doing, Shin? I'm doing great. Let's win. The, oh, okay. <laughs> What's your favourite class? In um, WoW, oh, probably uh, Rogue. Okay, what we're going to get? Not a Rogue! Oh. We've got Paladin, Hunter or Shaman. Oh, let's go Hunter. Hunter looks cool. And I like Rexar as well. Do you? Are you a Horde player? Oh, I am now. Again. I, are you what you play now? <laughs> now I play um, I, I play a, a monk actually, a blood off monk. But I don't think are, there, are monks in this? Um, no, no, oh, right. these were death knights. Sorry, I was looking at the cards. So we got a couple of really good ones here straight away. Yeah. This is such a good card. This. Yeah. Um, I think this is my favourite card. One of my favourite cards in the game actually, because it it gains, it can be really big when you get it out. Um. Wow, that's what she said. But <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, but the more cards you have on the table, the bigger he is when he comes out. All oh, right. That's, no, the more you have in your hand. So actually, oh, you can like, oh. wait till turn four, put him out as like a 7-7. Seven, seven. So if you're sort of hanging around for a while, but actually, this is a really good hunter card because it's, look at it, it's... Two... It, when it dies, you get a two, two, twos out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I really like this one as well. De um, Death rattles that thing when it dies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. oh, 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 it explains it in the, in the right there. I see. Yeah. So our options are a very powerful card that's hunter only, or an extremely powerful card. Oh, we have to choose one. Yeah, we have to pick. Um, that's the whole point, Shin. What's wrong with What's wrong with the gnomey dude in the middle? Um, me and Doug thought he was good last time, and he didn't actually turn out to be very good. Basically, oh. if your opponent has four or more minions, you get to take control of one, but. Very rarely did we find that they ended up having four or more minions. Right. And even if they did, they were probably so far ahead that my controlling one wasn't going to help us a huge amount. Um, but, that, you know, I suppose it's useful sometimes. Yeah. But I feel like these cards are way better. Yeah. I'm really tempted to lean on this guy, but... So, as a hunter, is there kind of synergy between beast cards? Do you, do you kind of have cards that buff other beasts? That's right, yeah. There's, there's some synergy. Um, but there's a couple of cards that when you play beasts you get to draw an extra card and things like that oh, so this that is another beast here which is which is quite cool he's got a serious case of rabies he's really angry um he's got taunt this is a sort of a a slightly better card because it's got the little gem in it which oh, means it's an expert level card oh um very cheap sort of a defensive card if you've got an aggressive deck coming at you but obviously he doesn't attack back, so he doesn't really give you any advantage unless you can buff him somehow. Right. Um, Does expert mean better or just harder to use? Uh, it just means that you can't get them unlocked unless you buy packs or win them and things like this. So okay, it's, right, right. It's a little bit rarer than just a base. But I think this guy's good, probably. He looks scary, yeah. Um, this would be okay because it would summon another beast, but I think this guy is probably just the best option. What's battle cry? What does that do? That's so when they enter the battlefield. Oh right, okay. As right. they enter the battlefield. So here you go. Here's another hunter oh. card. Give a friendly beast plus two plus two and taunt. So is that really good? Because it looks really good. It looks cool, doesn't it? You like the werewolves and things, don't you? Yeah, um, I had a werewolf deck in Magic. So. That's your favorite thing. You can make Murloc decks actually. They're a bit funny though. Does this, that work as a hunter, or are they kind of neutral? It doesn't work super good as a hunter. I mean, bear in mind, my hunter is... Um, it works okay, though. My hunter's ratio is to shoot them in the face. So it's steady shot, ah. which does two damage to their face. Face shot, nice. Um, so if I want to be a quick deck that kills them, it kind of works okay. But it works better with things like Warlocks, where you can quickly draw more cards, you see, every turn, and play lots of cheap cards. Oh, right, right, yeah, 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 because they're kind of like a spammy thing. Yeah. Cool. I think this is good, though. He looks good, yeah. Let's do him. Uh, right. Oh, we have to pick 30 cards in total? Yep. Oh, wow. So we're going to be here a little while. So we've got a really expensive one. We've got Ironforge Rifleman, who does one damage to someone when you play him out. Mm -hmm. And we've got Hunter card that lets us sift through our deck and pick the one we want. Um, which is actually okay. Yeah. So we'll pick that. Looks good. It's actually okay. Um... Right, then we got a couple more. Ooh. So a couple of Hunter spells. So one that deals two damage straight away, which is okay, actually, for, for finishing things off or sniping out creatures. Do we want to be looking at the mana curve down the bottom? Because I can see you've got like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus. Mm. And how do we want that to be? Like kind of lots at the start or lots at the end or like a spike in the middle or...? It depends, like, really. I think, obviously, the point is that you... 
by by turn ten, the game is sort of winding up. Yeah. So you don't want too many that are above five. Mm. Um, but at the same time, it's nice to because some. I mean, the power level really does increase at high mana cost. So some of these high level mana cost creatures are really really efficient and powerful. Like um, game ending cards. Almost. Yeah. So we don't want to be too too waiting. We don't want to be too early either because we'll sort of run out of cards. All oh, right. Unless we've got cards that let us draw cards, um, like this guy. Is the Handmaster a, a good enough card to take twice? Um, I like I like some removal. I mean, this is removal, oh. and it's and it's decent. And it's a hunter specific one as well. So we'll get it, just because we've already got one of these guys. Okay. And we haven't got a, a damage spell. All right. Oh, mm. ancient brewmaster. Who's he? He's a Pandaria man who is actually very efficiently costed. Look, he's four cost. And he does five damage, and he has this ability to return a friendly minion. Oh, from that the looks good. Now, some of that is okay. It's okay if you've got if this guy, for example, were taking a bit of damage, or yeah. if this guy you wanted to give his battle cry again. You know, so it's quite it's quite actually quite a good card. Um, it's an expert if, card as well. If we have a few battle cry creatures, I mean, this is generic seven seven seven. That's not even great stat generation, and this guy is boring as well. So yeah, get the panda. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is this is this is a secret card. So I think we got what? to take this one. What's a what's a secret? A secret is like a trap card oh, from oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh. We need a trap card. Yeah, definitely. So when your opponent plays a minion, deal four damage to it. That's pretty pretty freaking good, actually. Does does your guy say you've triggered my secret card? Not quite, but that would be pretty badass if you did. That'd be cool. Otherwise, this guy isn't that good unless you have weapons. Now we don't actually have many weapons as a hunter, or at least we haven't hmm. seen any cards yet that give us any weapons. So. And this guy's too expensive, really, but quite good. I mean, when you compare that the other guy was a 777, yeah. this is instantly, like, way better value for oh, yeah, money. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. And he's a beast. Oh, that's good for us. But we'll, we'll get the secret. Snipe looks cool. Um, oh, God. Well, this is okay here, because it's got a battle cry, so yeah. we can reset it with the Brewmaster. Yeah, that looks good. These two have charge, which means they're, they're basically hasted. Um... So these are useful almost as tricks. So you can drop them down and attack straight away, and you know your, your enemy might get surprised. Or, or so in a pinch, you've got like a bit of damage that you can throw out that they won't yeah. suspect. So these can act like pseudo removal spells. Cool. Um, Ooh, pseudo removal. Yeah, so that's a very technical term. <laughs> <laughs> like like half removal, so you can play them out to get rid of stuff. Um, this guy's a bit tankier and yeah. a bit more expensive. This guy's really fragile. Um, I don't really like it. It does a bit of damage. And this guy gives us two bodies and quite a lot of So it's good value. I mean you get you get four five across two creatures. So it's good value. Yeah, it looks good. Um Right. Okay, now we have some interesting ones. So this one's just draw a card, which is nice because as soon as you play it, you've you've paid for it. Yeah. You know, so it's nice. But it is quite expensive at four. Mm. Um this guy. Oh what! Your makes, minions cost three more. Makes, oh right. So like as as a as a cost to get him out. Yeah. So you can get him out as a seven six on only five mana, which is fantastic deal. Yeah. Um, but he makes everything cost more while he's alive. Right. So you've got to weigh up whether you wanna how you wanna play him. You know, it's quite difficult to to decide. And this guy deals three damage randomly split between all of the characters out there. So it could hit you. Of course, it could hit your other creatures. Oh. But if they've got a lot of creatures out or whatever, it might hit them. So this is a bit of RNG here. Yeah. Um, if we wanted to play this card, it would be a bit risky. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I think I want to play a bit of RNG. I think the Mad Bomber looks cool. Okay. Let's do him. Ah, so we've got rare now. So the blue oh. ones are rare. So we've got Master Swordsmith. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus one attack. So every turn... He is gonna start buffing our heroes. Our oh, creatures. oh, and that stacks like constantly ramping up plus one. Yeah, so that's oh. pretty, pretty very good. This guy will give adjacent minions spell power plus one. Now spell power is okay a lot of the time, but me and Duncan sort of stacked spell power last time and it didn't really pay off. No, uh, spell power would only affect this spell here. But, oh, so for example, if he came down and gave something spell power plus one, that would deal three damage instead. Yeah. So instantly, that's but that's the only thing I think it does look that would be spell power effective. What's the wild pyro guy? After you cast the spell, deal one damage to all minions. 
So including your own. Yeah. So this is a spell. I think this is. Or maybe not. Actually, maybe that's a, maybe that's not a spell. I think it might be a spell. I'm not quite sure what classifies as a spell, but I think these two are spells. Yeah. And this is probably a spell actually as well. Um, it's a secret though. Shh. So this guy is probably pretty good. He looks good. He he looks like he's on our on side. I want to make sure we get a few taunt minions like this guy to give us protection. Yeah. Because that was our downfall last time. But this guy will make a beast taunt. Oh, so oh, as right, long yeah. as we have enough beasts to put taunt on. Doesn't our only beast already have taunt though? No, the seven high main is a beast as well, isn't it? Yeah, but that's a bit expensive. Now oh, yeah. So we might have to think quite carefully about getting some beasts and getting some taunts. Let's see what we get. Uh, oh, beasts. Okay, we've got Freezing Trap. When enemy minion attacks, return it to its owner's hand. It costs two more. Oh, that's cool. It's okay. Your other beasts have plus one attack. That looks good. But it's he's a, so weak, isn't he? It's He'll a one, get taken one, out. one beast, so yeah. he might just die horribly. Yeah. Um, I think this is this is a, this is a sort of a, it's a decent card, and it all acts as a kind of removal removal in the late game. You know, yeah. if they were attacking us with something big. Um, they won't be able to afford to get it out a second time. Yeah, should we try this? Yeah, it looks good. Let's try the traps. Oh, right, okay. We've got another secret. Yeah. <laughs> when oh a character attacks your hero, instead he attacks another random character. Could that be even one of their dudes? Or? Yes. Oh. Wow, um, that looks really powerful then. This is good because it draws a card. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also get spell power plus one, but pff, that's kind of a bonus. This guy is good because... He's stealth, so as soon as he comes down, they're not going to be able to deal with him, and then ah, he'll hit them for seven. He's expensive, though. He is expensive. Um, so what have we got? I think I've, I'm liking all the secrets. Yeah, we're just going to have a field full of trap cards. That sounds <laughs> really cool. <laughs> when if when a character attacks your hero, instead he attacks another random character. Mm. It's difficult though, because it might screw us over. It might, yeah, it might screw us over, and it's it's probably not as good as the other secrets, honestly. No. I don't know, the other secret, snipe, freezing trap. Let's go with it. Yeah? Let's go with it. Okay. Uh, I've got another ancient brewmaster. Oh. I think these guys are okay. Do they this, work with each other? This popped up again. His ba does, his ba does his battle cry work with the other kind of battle cry? I guess you can, so yeah, but that doesn't really mean anything, does it? You'll just get rid of him. <laughs> no. It's okay because you can take pick up a low health minion. You know, you can use it to kind of attack and then... Lift him back up, so it's yeah. actually better than you think. This, mm. and I'm not, I'm not a fan of this guy particularly. And this guy, it's a bit of a risk. Um, what do you think then? I'm gonna get the brewmaster. Yeah, balls to it. Uh, what have we got now? Uh, frost, frost elemental, high cost. We haven't got too many high ones, so this might be a good one. Freeze a character. This guy's a bit crappy. Looks good. This guy's got taunt, so he's okay. And enrage. And enrage. Um, which means he gets big and fat. Wow. He's a beast, but he's not a beast, so... He's okay, though. I'm tempted to get this guy because he freezes someone, and freeze means you just they just lose their next attack, which can be quite... Ah. It's a sort of delayer for some... If there's a bad something out there and, and you don't want to deal with it right now, yeah. he, can, he can delay. I think we'll get this guy. We haven't got very many big cards yet, so it's probably good. Yeah. Uh, got taunt, a big fat taunt guy. He costs six. This guy buffs all other creatures, and he's very good actually. He's a oh. very good creature. Yeah. Um, so he's like a he's like got this anthem that, that is plus one plus one to all of your stuff that's out. That's cool. So he can come down, and it acts like a buff. You know, you can you can you can get a lot of that damage out straight away as a surprise. Mm. Um, I'm tempted to go with the taunt just because I feel like we need to shore up our defenses a bit, but I don't know. Um, he's slightly cheaper as well, isn't he? So I, I'd say, yeah, the Lord of the Arena looks good. What do you think? I mean, we have got all these traps which which are stopping them from attacking us so much. Yeah. So maybe we can just go with this guy. Because we've got seven. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Ah, a couple of good ones, I think. Uh, Wind Fury? What does that do? Wind Fury lets them attack twice. Oh, right. Now, it's nice if they can get buffed up on their damage. So if we can increase their damage somehow using like this guy mm. or this guy gives them some extra attack. Or we, if we had any oh. spells. I think that this works quite well with Shaman and Paladin decks who have, or Druid who have buffs. And they can make this guy into like a 5-3. And then suddenly he's doing a huge amount of damage. Or wow, this guy yeah. who's giving minions plus two attack. 
Oh, and we can keep bringing him back out and in with the uh, with the Pandaren. This might be a good good card. Yeah, it's then. a good fit for us, I think. Um, then we got a charge guy. We got this guy who costs five and has Battlecry two damage. Oh, he looks cool though. Look at that armor. He's a pretty cool dwarf. And actually, the two damage can sometimes be quite relevant. Yeah. So I prefer to have this guy as opposed to this guy. It's it's kind of pseudo removal. Do you like that? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's my new favourite term. And I haven't got any five mana cost creatures yet, so yeah. that helps. Uh, oh, more all, spells. All monsters lose stealth, destroy all enemy secrets, draw a card. Is that good? Not really. No. Um, because I don't think we're going to come across too much stealth, but pff, draw a card, I mean, it replaces itself. Yeah. So it might be like a counter to enemy secrets if we want. Oh, but it, wow. But the Cobra has Death Touch, and it's a beast. Oh, that is that is what we need. Um, this guy gives the opponent a Mana Crystal, so actually he costs three, but he gives them this wild growth effect. Or, oh. Um, what's it called? In, 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 uh, explore? He has an Explore effect, so he oh. gives them an extra land. Kind of like Ramp. Ramp. Ramp and growth effect. Uh, what have we got here? A big beast. We've got a, a, a Gurubashi Berserker. It's actually a good card. Whenever he takes damage, he gets he gains he gets bigger. Yeah. Now, if you've got a way to heal, or if you've got a deck which buffs some health, he can be a real beast. Um, but in our deck, he's not all that good. No. Um, he's okay, but the core hand's solid, isn't it? Uh, a core seven hand co seven costs is a big, scary, solid bastard. So yeah. why not? Oh, a, a oh an epic. So we haven't actually seen any any legendaries but we've, this is an epic so we've got give a beast plus two attack and immune which means they can't be damaged this turn oh is that good it means they're okay yeah because can you imagine if you gave it to someone with wind fury oh actually then again it's, it's give a beast so how many beasts oh. have we actually got one two he's not a beast three four we've not got hardly any beasts actually so we might not even use it all minions lose Divine Shield with this guy. So he's good against Paladins, but... Right. God knows. But useless if they don't have one. Yeah. I, mm, Beastial Wrath probably looks like the best one because the one on the right is just about pirates, so... This one's no good. Yeah. There's a chance we'll come up against a Paladin. Yeah? You know, and this wouldn't be the, the worst thing to have. If we do, though, are they? will they always use Divine Shield? Is that a Paladin thing? A lot of minions have Divine Shield as well, and it's quite nasty when you come against it. Oh, okay. Um, um, we could try that then. Then again, this will make an immune character. I think this is probably the better option if we had if we had enough beasts, but I'm slightly concerned we haven't got enough beasts. We've got 11 cards to go, though. We might find some more beasts. Yeah, but there might be better options to pick. Mm. Um, God, I'm a bit worried. Picking that. I think this might be the safer option. Okay. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, there's another beast. Brilliant. <laughs> there's a beast. Let's get that guy. <laughs> wow. And there's another beast as well. Oh, wow. But this is a good card as well, actually. A pretty good card. Oh, he has Divine Shield. I see. Yeah. This guy spores with Divine Shield. It means he can attack twice, really, and, and, and clock his way through stuff. This is not even a bad card, this. You know, yeah. silence is relevant and can actually really help you out. And being a beast isn't the worst thing in the world. No. Because um, the things that are in our deck. He looks very, very chubby, actually. We'll get the silence guy. It's chubby owl. Right. Oh, my God. So we've got Snipe, which is we, we've already got one of, which is nice. It's a nice yeah. secret. We've got Explosive Trap. So when your hero is attacked, deal two damage to all enemies. Wow. Which actually is... It's pretty relevant. It's pretty good. That looks amazing. Um, and then we've got, when a beast dies, gain plus two, plus one. Oh. So this guy, if you have him out, and it, that, that includes on their team as well. Oh, right. Oh, that could be bad then. No, no, no. He just gets oh, much on their bigger. Team. Oh, He just gets oh. bigger and bigger when we kill their beasts or he kills our beasts or whatever. But I like this because we haven't got anything that really wipes I like, the floor. I like secrets. Let's, let's get lots of secrets. The secrets are good. Okay. Uh, so we've got another beast here. This beast's okay for two mana cost. We've got a lot of twos. Yeah. But that's okay. Because you can still get those out at the end of the game. When you've got like ten mana, you can just it just means you can cast like five yeah. twos. Yeah, we've got a good, a fairly good balance. We need a five. Uh, we, we could do with a few higher cost spells, but you never know what we're going to get in the last few. The Houndmaster's there. He's a four. It depends. Yeah. I mean, this is a good beast. Yeah. 
It's good beast. Go I ahead. think, yeah. Get the raptor. Uh, Stranglethorn Tiger is a beast with stealth. This guy comes with a free squire, so that's quite good value. What does a squire do? Is it just like a 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, it's just a basic 2-2. Two -two. Cool. And it's the battle cry effect, so, you know, we could resummon. But then again, I don't know how much we're actually going to do that. No, we haven't I think this much. five is probably the better one. Yeah. Yeah. He's a not? beast as well. Um... Unleash the hounds, give your beasts oh. plus one attack and charge. That's cheap as well, isn't it? Just a one a one drop. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a, a trick, a trick spell where you yeah. can summon something and attack straight away. I don't know whether it's worth worth it, but it's okay. This is just like the raptor, except it's got an extra effect and it's not beast. This is what we've got before the werewolf guy. Weapons are weapons are basically what the enemy hero will attack us with, right? Yeah, yeah. Some of the some people do have weapons. It's not completely irrelevant. Um, I'm just worried about it. What do you like? What do you like out of these? I like. Ooh, I think any one would probably be okay. Unleash the hounds. You like the dog? Yeah, he's cool. Uh, that's another one. Brilliant. Oh, well, wow. oh, this guy's a good beast, actually. He gives uh, adjacent minions plus one attack. So oh, that's cool. He's great. Uh, then what have we got? We've got Fairy Dragon, so this is Hexproof. Oh. Uh, we've got a Jungle Panther, which is a beast. Stealthy beast. Which looks good. It looks kind of like a, a Night Elf, actually. Like a, a Hunter's... It, it does, doesn't it? Where is it? Um, Jungle Panther. Jungle Panther. Oh, it looks like a... Maybe that's where it's come from, like the wild stalker or whatever. Yeah, maybe he's like a shifter. Some weird dude. Hmm. So then we got a, a taunty bear, which is always good. Probably probably go with this one, actually. This guy is good, and he also taunts, I... but he costs less if you were with per attack of your weapon. Now, we've not got any weapons, no. so he's never going to use that ability. No. Um, but he's relevant if you can get a good weapon out. This is useful... Uh, it changes the minions to health to one, but it's not. Look at that guy. He can see the arrow above me. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is useful. Yeah, it's a useful it looks card. good. It looks good. Health to one, why not? Yeah, because then you can take him out with like a an arcane shot or something. You can take him out with anything. Yeah. So, I mean, it's useful even till the late game, but... Yeah, if someone brings out Deathwing. Oh, is, De is Deathwing a minion? Um, yes, he is, yeah. So, yeah. Wow. That's a good, that's a good, that's good reasoning. I mean, he is blanket removal. I like this guy, though. I think we're okay. Yeah? I think we're okay with this. Let's get this. And lastly, we've got oh, a lovely Sunwalker. Oh, this will be the best one. But this guy gives adjacent minions taunt. Yeah. Um, but this guy's way better. He's got Divine Shield and taunt, and he's a big Tauren paladin. He's badass. He looks cool. This girl, whenever you cast a spell, Summer of Violet Apprentice, this is good too. Actually, a very good card. We, and we have got quite a few spells now. Oh, we do? Oh, yeah, we do, yeah, actually. So, yeah. I mean, bear in mind... Our secret spells. Yeah. Oh. Wow, well, actually, we've got a lot of spells. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straight away. So this might be a good card for us. You think? But I'm feeling this guy, just to, 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 to cap out our, our top... Top end. I agree with the Sunwalker. She looks pretty badass. Okay. That's like tier something as well. That's a real armor set from the game. That's cool. Well, I'm tempted by this girl, but mm, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna, I'm just gonna trust my instincts and go with this. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to play. All right. So how did this work? Are we just gonna find a po an opponent now. Yeah, we, exactly. We just go in and that's it. We just start playing people. Oh, it's exciting. Come on. Are you ready? Seven, seven, seven. So that was like 20 minutes just to make the deck. Wow. But it's a good deck. I think it's a good deck. Oh, oh a priest. Okay. Anduin. Yeah, he's a priest. So what have we got straight away? Should put down a, a trap. That's no good right now. This is particularly good right now, and this is particularly good right now. So I'm okay. going to replace the whole lot. <laughs> wow. How many times can you do that? Just once. Oh, right. Uh, this is better. So yeah. this is a two cost. We can cast him out. Uh, and this is a secret. We can we can put that out instead. Is it Algo first, or has he done something? It's Algo first, so we we are actually starting. Okay. And we can't do anything because we've not got nothing. No. Ain't, ain't not got nothing. I'm a little bit concerned that putting this guy out might be a bit of a risk. Oh, so he's playing a two mana cost spell in oh. turn one. Whenever a minion is healed, draw a card. Ah, oh, it's a pain in the neck, that one. 
It's a pain in the neck. But if they have, like, especially deadly cards, we can actually target them and take them out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I can... Um, I can silence this straight yeah. away and stop this from doing anything, which is useful, it's nice. Uh, I can play this guy at the end of your turn, give another random minion plus worth attack. So I don't think he'll buff himself, so I think he has to have someone else to put that on. Oh, right. So he's not so relevant if I threw him out on his own. But if we put the owl out this turn and then the, the uh, swordsmith out next turn, he could buff the owl. This is true. Um, does silence last for the whole game then? If you silence that woman right now, does it, is she silenced forever? She's, she'll be silenced forever, yeah. Ah. Yeah. So misdirection's no good either because there's nothing else really for her to attack. Um, so let's just... Let's just silence her. Okay. Because that'll just deal with it straight away and then I don't have to worry about it. Because um, he could have attacked into one... If I played another creature, he could have attacked into it and then healed his own creature, you see. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then... That oh. would have been frustrating, but he can kill this. It's Does not that break the silence? No, no. Oh, another one. Oh my god. That's annoying. So that now <laughs> means that he can now heal this one. And, Hacks. um... Yikes. Oh, uh, this is this is going to get bad really quick, isn't it? He's going to get out of control Unless with we cards. shut him down. Um... So what I can do is maybe cast a secret here. And hope that... He attacks out here. <laughs> Hopefully he attacks before he heals. Yeah. But he might not. This is not this is not the best. Don't heal. Don't heal, Anduin. You little little bandit. He's gonna heal first, because oh. he is. Oh, is that his ability then? We've got like a, an, an arrow, so we can shoot people, but yeah. he can heal. Oh, I see. Oh, he's so got a card for that. Oh that sucks. So he healed. Um, oh. So this is our secret triggering. You've you activated my trap card. And of course, it attacks him instead. Brilliant. Nice. Um, amazing. It was, actually, it was a bad. Oh, it was bad. Yeah. Minion plus three up. Ah! Oh my god, what? These cards. These cards are. They're very good for him to have, these cards. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the cards. That's why we're losing. Um, so we can cast enough to do. Oh, we've got. We've got four mana. Yeah. Now, these things don't actually do very much damage, so. I'm not actually going to cast anything this spell this turn because yeah. if I do, he'll just do some damage to his own creatures and heal. So I'm just going to shoot him in the face. Can he actually damage his own creatures so that he can heal them to activate that card? I don't think so. No. All no. right. Um, I'm confident that I can put this tiger out next turn, next time. Yeah. Oh, it's difficult actually this because I haven't got anything that will do six. And you, oh, and if you don't, he'll just heal it and then... Pines of Summoner. Yeah. This is another really powerful card. In fact, probably one of the most powerful cards oh there is. Oh my god. <laughs> First minion you play each turn costs two less. So wow! Next, start of next... So he's going to be able to play a big creature next turn. He's going to be able to play one costing seven. Is there any way we can stop that? Only if we kill this, which we don't have any of our removal spells for. No. What about the, um, the dwarf there? He can do two damage when he comes out. This is true. This is the right play. Yeah. Pew. Die, gnome. Okay. Scum. Now he's probably going to attack into me yeah. and then heal and draw a card, which is going to be frustrating. Oh, this is. Uh, are we going to win this? Are we, are we going to lose this? I don't want to lose this, Lewis. <sighs> he's got all this <laughs> card advantage, but I think we have better cards if we okay. can get a few creatures rolling. So if we can get the high, the, the, the high main out and then this guy out. Oh. Oh, so that drew him a card, and now he's going to attack. So he's not hes not doing the, the technique I thought he would do. He's Which doing is... an interesting technique. Oh. Ah, oh, this is the Divine Shield girl, so she's quite good. Right, now what I need to do is I need to get this guy out because six life, six damage. So I need to, I mean, I need I to be able to you. kill this. This thing gives him spell power, which is relevant. Yeah. But these things are more dangerous. Well, this thing's more dangerous. This thing's pretty much neutered, so that's useful that I got rid of that. Yeah. I think I just kill this. Yeah? Yeah. Pew. One for one. Get rid of it. Well, it was two for one because it killed the other creature as well, didn't it? So... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm... The thing about drafting is there's a rule. I think the rule is like... Um, it's something like bread. I think that's what it is. So it's like what the bread. Rule is bread. Bread. So B stands for uh, 
bombs. So this is a bomb, all right? A really right. powerful card. Okay. Oh, we got silence, by the way. Which he's just silenced to stop <laughs> the death rattle effect. So it's not going to get its... Um, it's not going to blow up. It's a bomb that won't blow up. It's going to get its two hyenas back out, which is a bit upsetting. But I can... Um, He's still pretty good, though. He's still like six attack, five five health. So. He's he's very good, yeah. And also, remember, I've got this guy who I can remove him to my hand and oh. clean that off if I wanted to. Remove the effect. Uh, good idea, yeah. Yeah, so that is an option. But at the moment, I just need to do this. Yeah. Get rid of that thing. Because if he starts healing up off it, it's going to be bad. Yeah. But now, of course, that's four damage, four life. He's at risk. Uh, he's at great risk. But fortunately, I've got this taunt woman who will come down and flock ah. away. So he now can't kill her because she's five. This is this is, this is is very efficient, Jim. Um, is this the turnaround? Are we going to win now? We'll find out. <laughs> this is... These games can go either way. Yeah. Uh, whenever one of your other minions dies, draw a card. So he can now sacrifice into me like this. What? And draw a oh, ton of no. cards. This is, this, this is terrible. So he might decide to sacrifice again. He can't attack that, though, because it's taunt. So, um, unlike in Magic, you can actually have your guys specifically target their guys and they're forced to fight. That's right, yeah. Okay. So he draws another card. Oh my god, look at his hand. I know, it's terrible. So... Okay, it's our turn to bring it back. So my options here are not great, being that if I kill this, um, he's going to draw a card. Mm hmm. Mm. My options are, problem is, I think this is a great card and I can use this to bring it back and play it again next oh, turn. Wow. So that might be the best play actually, just yeah. to get efficiency. Um, because he's thinking, he's spending a lot of cards to try and get rid of my cards. But yeah. if I use this to return one of these two, I'll get a lot of efficiency out of it. Let's do it. Um, so what should I do? What should I do? Should I, should I play the Brewmaster? Yeah, um, save the Paladin. And save the Paladin. Ew. Splash. She got gecked. So I get her back. Uh, and then I will... I mean, I've got Explosive Trap, but oh. it's not its not completely irrelevant. It's useful. I've got this, which will give this guy Taunt. Ah, oh, that's a good card, actually. Yeah. So I can, I can buff my fella. And then head in. Take one damage. Nice. Oh, um, nice. So he, he draws a card, but... I think I'm ahead now. I've got a nice board presence. These creatures are quite tough. Um, We're back in it. We are seven life down. But... He should be scared, though. Yeah. But he should be very scared. Well, he's Anduin. He's like a, a giant pussy. He's just there oh, wetting himself. So there you go. A big creature. Oh. That's going to go straight into my taunt guy. No, lion. Take it down. But that's an okay trade. Oh, and that gets buffed to a 6 oh 9. Oh my god. That is a big creature. And he can heal it. So, do priest builds favor big creatures that you can heal? H however, bear in mind it doesn't taunt. Oh, right. So, we can put this girl down here, and then he has to fight his way through it. Now, I'm not going to attack it head on because there's not a lot of point. No. What I can do is put down this guy now, ah. and then he'll start buffing my characters at the end of every turn. Good call. And I can just go for his face. So Isn't he going to become a big target, though, the uh, the swordsmith now? The swordsmith, he can't attack the swordsmith until this is dead. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, Torn. And this has got divine shield, so he'll have to attack into it, and it will just bubble, break the bubble. So he has to find a way to break the bubble and break through that. So that's two hits in order to attack any other creatures. Awesome. Meanwhile, these guys are going to get be getting bigger every turn. Yeah. Oh, it's not looking good for him now. He's on less health than us after, like, two rounds. Take control of an enemy no! minion. That is disaster. That's bad. My control. That is a disaster. That is a disaster. Um, oh god. Uh, okay. Oh god. Okay, what's he gonna do? He's gonna attack me straight in the face. Wow. Oh my god. Two more of those, and we're pretty much. We're pretty much screwed. On the ropes. So, options. Options here. I think first of all, I might play this mad bomber. Yeah. Because he might accidentally. He might. He might trigger this divine shield and pop it for me. It's a good idea. Yeah. Let's see what happens. So let's see what happens. One to me, another one to me, and one to the Brewmaster. master. That wow. was terrible. Wow. That was terrible. Who picked that card? Jeez. Oh, God damn. Oh my. Uh, I've also got explosive trap, which is okay. Yeah. 
So if he attacks me in the face instead, it will do, do two damage to his. So it will pop that bubble. Oh. If he hasn't decided to pop it already himself. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, my options here are I could always... I've not got anything that hits for six, though, so I can't actually deal with this guy. Yeah. That's a bit of a problem. Do, you, do they heal back all their life, then, if you don't kill them after one round? They... Uh, no, 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 they don't, but I don't have enough damage, really. Right. And if you don't kill something, it's not worth attacking it. I'm going to... I'm going to put the Cobra down, I think. Quickly. And also a tiger. Yeah, we've got a lot of beasts on the board now. Should I put a tiger down? No, I'll put explosive oh, trap. what's that fuse? There's That's a fuse. me running out of time, Shin. <laughs> oh, right, right, okay. Because <laughs> I'm deciding to slowly. Okay. I'm not actually going to attack. Oh, shall I attack? Oh. I'm not actually going to attack. This guy's now up to six. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Oh, look how many cards he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we've lost this one. Really? That Already? mind control is so powerful. How's this happened? What's he doing to that? He's giving it three more health. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. And this no longer, has, no longer has death touch now. Oh, my God. You've got two silence guys. That's frustrating. Yeah. I'm very vexed right so now. So he triggered my secret, which is explosive trap. So that hits them all for two. Oh, it popped the bubble. It, it popped, popped the, the bubble. bubble. That's useful. But we're dead. Um, <laughs> we're, we're pretty close to being dead, yeah. Oh. So we're certainly dead next turn. Right, what have I got here? So I've got seven, one, one. So this will put all of these to now uh, one extra damage. So this is definitely what we want to be playing here. Yeah. Behold. So now I can hit him for six, a bit more than six. So, I, but I need to fight through nine. I need to fight through twenty-seven damage. I haven't got enough. Five, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-seven. I haven't quite got enough damage to, to kill him. What about a shot from the uh, from from our bow as well? Haven't got one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have to. Ooh, yeah, if I can get exactly nine on this guy. Yeah. So I need exactly nine. What makes nine? Seven and two. Yes. Right. <laughs> God, please don't be wrong. Okay. <laughs> so Matt's here. Yay! Let's try this. One, two, three, four, and a shot from the bow. Oh yes! Oh, victory! Holy crap! That was close. Oh, that was intense. <laughs> oh, Matt. Oh, that was awesome. Wow. Rexa, victorious. Wow. Yes. Come on, Shin. High oh, five. High five. We got a new quest for some reason. Mage Dominance. What are quests? How do they work? So quests are the things that give you these coins down here, the gold that you can enter the arena. Oh, cool. God, God, Jesus Christ, my heart's like pounding. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to make it. That's right, yeah, because with these, with, these, oh. with these arena games, you actually have something on the oh. line when you fight them, don't you? Yeah, I think I need to have a rest now. Yeah? <sighs> yeah, God, Shin, that was intense. We don't oh. have to repick our deck, though. We've got the deck, mm. and now we just go with it. We're stuck into it. Okay, let's have a break. We'll come back to this deck next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. I can't believe we won that. I was... Oh, God. Cool.